Hello, welcome once again to another episode of Hay Streak TV. I am Prospector Chris. I don't know how my lens keeps getting dirty. The other dirt that we muck around in. So, uh, you know, they say that the river determines where you dig, and Tuscarawas is no different. We had some rain, so obviously this trough right here is full of flowing water again. But it wasn't just a just a day or two ago. Yeah, it sucks a little. We wanted to get back up at the front of that. There's too much going on over there now. We'll see how. Well, it's not incredibly deep. I don't know if I can get across to the gravel bar here or not. Maybe we'll dig there. We'll figure it out when we get to work. The river's up quite a bit. All the rain that we had over the last couple nights. So we're going to try to find a good spot and get digging. Back in a bit. Alright, well, as luck would have it, we are able to get up here at the front of the trough, which now is flowing water in it. Basically right where we left off with our big pile of gold the other day when we got rained on. So we can get at it, so this is where we're going to take it from. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to set up the blanket snail yet. Maybe out there. I can keep my bag up out of the water somehow. I will figure that out when we get there. Beautiful September Sunday afternoon. The river is up. Forty more underwater right now. Oh well, we're in a good spot. Back in a bit. Okay, well, this is going pretty quick. What we've decided to do is we're doing a little bit more than a half a bucket. You now filling it up. Oh, a couple inches, a few inches more than halfway. And that's what we're going to run at a time between cleanouts. I had more than a, oh, about three quarters of a bucket yesterday, and it was just too much. There's too much heavies being deposited here, and it's getting all caught up in my ripples. And when my ripples are full, there's a chance I could lose some gold. So we're trying to time it by the volume of material that we're running through it. So we can run a bucket, clean out, run a bucket, clean out. You, you get the drift. That's what we're doing today. Right now we're taking a break and lollygagging. Scoping out the new spot. Really love this trough running through here. Okay, well, this is the material that we're dealing with now. It's a nice, sandy, gravelly, you know, some of the bigger rocks are about like that, but you get the occasional brick. easy to work through, that's for sure. Oh, there goes my bucket. back on Pastry TV. Well, we're out here in the current. Found a little bush here that kind of breaks it up a little bit, so it's a nice spot to set up our pump and plank and snail. And we have some carefully stacked bricks there for the professional, professional brick stackers. And we're up. Doing just over a half a bucket each time that we're going to clean out just to be on the safe side. Uh, 
Once again, this is a part of the show where I plug my blog. Day Street TV blog over at Blogspot. And there's a link in the description here. And there's also one on my YouTube channel. If you like gold stuff and mediocre writing, come on by. And I post a lot of pictures of the stuff that I find around here when I go. And I've been uh, writing little stories and reviews on the Bering Sea Gold Under the Ice show that's on TV right now. And you know, if you need any prospecting equipment, I am your man once again. I have Amazon affiliates. You can get anything from pans to sluice boxes. Come on by. Talk about gold. Talk about your finds. Post me your pictures. Love to hear from you. We're in little gold country over here on the East Coast. You really need to go south or north to get anything good. So we're kind of stuck in, in between land here. Well, we still find fairly good spots. That's enough shameless self-promotion there. Well, here's our first bucket. A little bit more than a half a bucket. I don't know, we might need to just stop at a half a bucket. There's just so much heavy stuff in this. I'm stuffed to the gills again. That will work that out. Alright, we're going to hose that out into our bucket. Back in a bit. Well, there's my heavies. So I'm going to say six gallons of material altogether. Each one of the buckets had about three gallons in it. You did three gallons and did a clean out. You almost go at two and a half. right there in amongst the rocks oh. so far we're winning you know there's one in there This is the tedious part, the Ohio Gold, getting down to, towards the end, always watching for a glimmer. And the other day we had one try to escape, and it was a nice one. And you always want to shake a lot. how heavy this pan was right now. Alright, I need need to switch it up here. Back in a bit. Alright, we are back. We are done for the day. We're done panning all that out. And I gotta tell you, I think we're in the right spot. My goodness, would you look at all that. We're up in the 20s again, there's too many to count. It's getting a little chilly out here, so we're going to pack it up and go out winning. What a great spot. That's six gallons of material, two clean outs. It's freaking awesome. I'm just tickled to death. That's two days in a row that we had really big clean outs. It's going to make my vial look really nice. Alright, once again, don't forget to visit the blog. 
Links in the description below and on my YouTube channel. It's also on my blip. <laughs> what the heck, cue the music. Love the new spot. Alright, we're gonna go out winning there. Thanks for watching. Join us for another episode of Page Street TV. I'm Chris. See ya.